if, if we're mass producing fruit punch, unless it's like some customized pro production of uh, fruit punch, I would think would be a process cost because all the end result would probably be all the same. We'd be using to, to maximize production. So probably not that. C, yogurt. Uh, again, I would think the same thing. I would think that we're trying to make all the yogurt the same. And once we get the process down, the system down, we can mass produce it uh, and make it all the same and use a process cost. D, seeds for planting. And uh, yeah, and there's a little bit, you know, we might have to do something on it, but, but I would think that all the seeds are pretty much the same. We're going to try to make a system to make all the seeds the same and gather the seeds and have the same amount of seeds in a certain, you know, basket or whatever. <laughs> and so I would think that would still be a, a process cost and not a, not a job cost. And then E says small gardening tools. And as long as the, if they're small and they're all the same and we're making them or producing them, again, I would think that we would make those all in, in the process cost. So this is one, so I don't think it's that. This is one that didn't use customization. If we saw the word customized something, we make customized something, then that's usually for sure going to be a job cost. This one is a general contractor, which by the nature of being a contractor, you know, uh, is typically going to be different. So contracting is a, a little bit different. Uh, the way the jobs are tracked, but it, it's a job cost system and all the jobs are typically different. So I think A would be the final answer. Let's go through it one last time. Which industry would use a job costing system? A, a general contractor. Next question. Cost accounting systems are A, job order costing and perpetual costing. B, job order costing and job hunting system. C, job order costing and specific identification. D, job order costing and process costing. E, job order costing and first in, first out. So let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Cost accounting systems are, now all of them have job order costing. So, I mean, this first half is pretty much a given uh, so we don't really even need to read that anymore <laughs> and we're, I, we're really just saying okay what's the second what's the second half here and a says uh perpetual accounting uh we, we may have heard perpetual account i mean that's a thing kind of we've probably heard perpetual system before uh so i'll keep that for now <clears throat> b says job hunting system and, th and that sounds just kind of silly I, I, don't, I don't job hunting system I, uh, it sounds like it's, uh, you know, something that was made up because they ran out of options or something. So I think that one, probably not it. And C says specific identification. Um, we, we may have heard specific identification, but that actually has to do with tracking uh, inventory in a merchandising company, typically, where we specifically identify the inventory as it goes. So it's actually, that's not going to typically be uh, a cost, a typical cost accounting. It's it's more of a merchandising usually. Uh, D says uh, process costing. Uh, and again, we, we may uh, have that, that that sounds familiar. So I'll keep that one for now. And E says first in, first out. And again, we probably heard of first in, first out, but it's not it's not usually a cost accounting system. First in, first out is how we track. Again, like specific identification in a, in a merchandising company, typically it's some kind of cost flow assumption. So I don't think it's going to be first in, first out. So let's go through this again. Cost accounting systems are job costs. And what's the other one? Perpetual costing. Now that's kind of alluding to perpetual versus periodic, which, which has to do oftentimes again with the merchandise, with a, uh, where the merchandising company has that option. Uh, so it's not going to be that. Specific identification has to do with typically a, you know, how we're tracking the inventory in a merchandising company. And then, of course, it's going to be the process costing. So it's a job cost system and a process cost system. Those are the two that we're always contrasting uh, when we think of a job cost system or when we think of a job process cost. Whatever, whichever one we're working on, we're often going to be asked questions or thinking about its opposite or it's it, the other one, comparing and contrasting to the other one. So we're always thinking between job cost, process cost, the difference, of course, being the differentiation typically in inventory and other differences that result from it.